Yes, Miss Judge, Your Honor. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my brother. Um, I'm gonna get right to the point. I think the case should be thrown out due to the fact that I'm insane. Y'all remember when I told you I wouldn't talk about Quantum TV unless the story actually progressed? Well, lo and behold, the story has progressed, but not in the way I thought it was going to. When the act man's brother joked about his prison arc, not a single one of us thought to ourselves that would actually legitimately happen. When I said his wife and kid were gonna leave him and take everything, I didn't know I was talking about the future. It's all the molly, it's all the whippets, it's all the salvia, it's all the weed, it's all the booze. It can't be real, right? Drugs don't reveal to you the future for real. I mean, do they? Do they? Am I the attack titan? Well, either way, thank God the only thing I abuse are drugs and PlayStation fanboys. Because what Quantum TV has committed is by no means a laughing matter. I mean, I want to approach the topic carefully because God knows what his wife and kid are going through. That man is crazy. He's just going to keep beating her and then he's going to beat the kid too. What the hell happened to the days when a guy does something like that to a girl and a bunch of us guys get together and just go kick his ass? The internet experienced it firsthand, so God knows what that poor woman has gone through. But if it's at the hands of Quantum TV, then I'm willing to bet it was absolutely terrifying. Some are calling it karma, but I don't really want to call it that. Believe me, nobody else on this planet wants to see that man suffer more than me. But not at the cost of his family having to be the ones to suffer as well. It's not a W, but at the very least we got Quantum TV mugshots. And he's facing a first degree felony. See, when uh, Quantum TV was making comments about punching Kratos' wife's mouth in God of War, it all started to make sense. Yo, I'm not digging her attitude right now. Like, at all. Good boy. Bro, she needs a fist to the mouth, like, straight up. Disrespectful ass. Hmm. Really makes you think. When he compared Elden Ring players to abuse victims, not a single one of us could connect the dots and realize that he was actually projecting about his wife. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game yelling at the screen trying to hashtag get good because that's like this mentality that all you guys have kind of gotten submitted into you guys literally sound like like abuse victims right yeah. but like you're in a really shitty relationship and that's just how it is man you know you just take it on the chin man is how it is coincidence i think not see last night before i was going to bed somebody sent me an image what was that image a mugshot of quantum tv with the link attached to it. I thought to myself, oh, it's gotta be fake. I've seen plenty of people make AI generated mug shots, but upon clicking the link, I realized that it was actually real. And what I was reading were actually first degree felony charges being placed upon Quantum TV. And oh my God, the lore drop we got on Quantum TV is huge. So I'm gonna do my best to walk you through it. But at the same time, I'm gonna try my best not to reveal too much because in my state, it's illegal to be publicly sharing mug shots now i know quantum lives in florida but i'm not willing to take the risk and on top of that i'm not a firm believer that being arrested automatically makes someone a bad person i'm not digging into quantum's past to try and throw shade at him because all of this is public info the moron decided he wanted to be a big youtuber he was gonna put his face out there for everyone to see so when his mug shots were revealed it's not surprising a few florida residents were able to recognize megamind's face and i want to remind everyone that just because he's being charged does not mean he is guilty. For all we know, they could be dropped within the next few hours, which is common with a lot of domestic violence charges. A lot of people are just going to read that and assume Quantum is a wife beater, which there is no evidence for. What he's being charged with is not that. Now, I know I am digging into some pretty personal info here, even though it is public. I don't really believe in going this deep on someone, but uh, when you dox people, when you call their moms and threaten them, or when you accuse people like Rich of being a pedo, then you've opened yourself up for the same treatment. And I know I'm breaking a grand rule doing it, but there is no one more deserving of it than Quantum, especially based on all that mad shit he talked last year. So with that being said, let's take a look at why he was arrested. And the best part about all of this is it was all filed on my birthday and I didn't even know. 
So the charge is a first degree felony for obstructing justice, which he was bailed out on bond for $500. But what does that mean in the grand state of Florida, Frit? That would be tampering with or harassing a witness, victim, or informant, which would include a person who knowingly uses intimidation or physical force or threatens another person or attempts to do so or engages in misleading conduct toward another person or offers pecuniary benefit or gain to another person with intent to cause or induce any person to a withhold testimony or withhold a record document or other object from an official investigation or official proceeding b alter destroy mutilate or conceal an object with intent to impair the integrity or availability of the object for use in an official investigation or official proceeding c evade legal process summoning that person to appear as a witness or to produce a record document or other object in an official investigation or an official proceeding d be absent from an official proceeding to which such person has been summoned by legal process e hinder delay or prevent the communication to a law enforcement officer or judge of information relating to the commission or possible commission of an offense or violation of a condition of probation parole or release pending a judicial proceeding or f testify untruthfully in an official investigation or an official proceeding based on what i'm reading the guy who told elden ring players they have no family is gonna end up having a uh, no family as public police records report you hear that youtube you hear that qtv public police records report while qtv's wife was in the middle of trying to dial up the police he knocked the phone out of her hand left some scratches on her wrist and as i read to you in accordance to florida law that is a first degree felony because he was obstructing justice preventing his wife from dialing 911. now initially he was charged with domestic violence but his wife refused to proceed with those charges and in fact was the one that ended up bailing him However, that does not clear him from the state still proceeding to prosecute him for the obstruction of justice. So the potential for some prison time or a hefty fine is still there. Preventing your wife from calling the police through physical means is gonna land you in trouble. But it's also completely within Quantum's character. A control freak who always wants it his way, who wants to be able to inflict harm onto others and receive nothing in return. So it does bring me great joy to see it all finally catch up to him. And as you can see here, more information also reveals that he requested a public defender and was denied, meaning he has to pay out of pocket to get a lawyer to get him out of this mess. This is following events from February that honestly, I don't want to discuss because are very, very dark. But essentially, the marriage between QTV and his woman wasn't going too well. She took the dogs. She took furniture, she took the kid, left him alone, only for months later to have it escalate this way. I will say, however, she bailed him out and did not proceed with domestic violent charges. So anyone making claim that he beat his woman should probably retract that. However, if you want to claim he's a mental abuser, we all knew that well over a year ago. This here just shows the extreme side of that mental abuse. But then again, digging even a little deeper into the uh, QTV lore, it's also revealed that around exactly the same time last year, he requested an injunction against Review Tech USA that was denied almost immediately. Well, what's an injunction, Frit? Well, it was basically a request for a restraining order, and it's made without the other person's knowledge which is why Review Tech USA never knew about it. But as you can see here, I've blurred out their real names, but not Richard's because he's okay with people knowing his. But it is indeed 100% real. Now, obviously it was rejected immediately because it was made in Florida and Rich doesn't live in Florida. So it just goes to show how crazy QTV is and how far he was willing to go, which never made any sense because QTV was the one who's spreading misinformation about Rich being a pedo and yet he runs to his state and begs for them to protect him against rich yet when it comes time for his wife to call the state on him he pulls off a rice gum and smacks the phone out of her hand don't you all remember last year when uh, qtv was talking down to us about how he knows the law and we're all stupid well say whatever you want qtv but all i know is 
I'm not the one with the first degree felony charge. He's also a loose cannon who's had a protection order placed on him that prohibits him from buying firearms because he threatened to game over himself and text messages to his wife. Again, the strategies of a narcissist who will go out of their way to do the craziest things to get what they want. It's clear we're dealing with a very aggressive and unhinged person. Anyone before who thought he was a character? I hate to break it to you, but no, that is actually who he is. Again, all the information is made public. I'm not going to link it, but again, it's not hard to find. But within hours of knowing what happened, the internet already started trolling Quantum mercilessly here's high boy talking about how his next video will be about megamind and he kindly asks everyone to give him the best megamind memes to which buddha are responds to with a pic of quantum's mugshot <laughs> I guess now know why he compared Elden Ring players to abuse victims. Guess his wife didn't learn his attack patterns in time. Oh my god! <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> the internet just don't hold back! Honestly, I've shown and discussed the most I can, and yet I still have a feeling this video will be taken down. No matter how little I was able to feed you, and even though I didn't show you the mug shots, just know we were all right about who this guy was, and just like we predicted, his name was gonna come up again, but it was gonna be about something way worse. But I don't want it to get any worse than this. So please, for the love of God, don't harass the family members, don't harass Q TV. This may be public information, but don't be giving away his name, address, or any of that. Let's let the court decide his fate, and we'll be on standby. And with that being said, I hope you consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing if you so choose to. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Every Congo sucks ass.